nice. Oh, this one's got a little fight to it. Feels like a good size. What are you? What's up anglers and anglets? It's your boy Sven and welcome back to my channel. So for today, I'm just gonna do some very simple fishing with some shrimp. I'm actually gonna try fishing underneath this bridge right here. The wind is going this way, but the current is going that way. It's a beautiful day, so let's just gear up and see what we can catch. What the heck is this doing here? Let's try to get you out of the water. FYI, don't drag things with your rod tip. That's gonna damage it. I don't know what I was thinking, but I can at least reach this thing now. Let's just put you right here for now. Take care of you later. At least you're out of the water. There it goes, drifting to the left. No bites at all. Well, we do have all day. Let's just move around. I don't have to stay here. I'm not getting any nibbles, so no need to stay put. Whoops, almost forgot this guy. There you go. Let's try this spot first. I might actually just kind of make my way down the jetty if I'm not getting any bites over here either. If the wind takes my bobber too much, I'm gonna switch rigs. Yeah, I gotta change rigs, this isn't working. Now we're working with a high-low rig, two size six hooks, and a two ounce pyramid weight. This side of the jetty is a little bit more peaceful, but these waves are crazy. If I happen to get a fish, there's no way I can tell. What I am surprised about is my two ounce pyramid is, wait, is that, is that fish? Yeah, wait, I got something. Nice, it's a thornback. Okay, that's something. Something is better than nothing. Nice, look at the sky. So these are thornback rays. They kind of look like stingrays. They're also closely related to sharks too. The skin also has that little sandpaper characteristics you would find on shark. I'll take it. Fight's been non-existent the entire day. So any fight's a good fight. Let's let you back, Mr. Thornback. Thanks for playing, Mr. Thornback. Now I'm a little excited. Let's see what else is out there. Unlike stingrays, thornback rays don't have a stinger. Their backs are just covered in little thorns. Still, you wouldn't want to get smacked by one of those. Something might be tackling this. Nice, another fish. Let's see what you are. Are you a fish fish or are you a stingray? Not a stingray, it's another thornback ray. Ooh, that's two already. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of these guys out there. Nice. This guy is pretty gut shotted. There's no way I can get the hook out without hurting him. So if you ever have a fish that's gut shotted, what you want to do is just cut the line as close as you can to their mouth for the hook. In this case, since I can't see where the hook actually is, that's how deep it is, I'm just going to cut it right here. Here, let me show you what I was talking about earlier. This guy's actually got some really cool colors. I've never seen a tail like this. Very nice and red. Look at all these thorns on their back. Sorry you're gut shotted, Mr. Thornback. Thanks for playing though. He'll be fine. Eventually the hook will rust out, but if you're trying to dig out the hook, you might rip out some of their guts. Snip the line, let them on be, and hope for the best. You can always replace hooks, but you can't replace a fishy boy's life. New hook is on, rebaited. Let's see if we can catch a third thorn back. No more bites at the spot. I guess it's time to head out a little bit farther on the jetty. Ah, yes, I forgot how windy it was up here. Crazy things you can find on a jetty. What the heck is this thing? A shelf? A cabinet? So much trash can get washed all around and collect in the weirdest places. I know one time when I was fishing at the spot, I actually pulled up a whole sleeping bag. Where the heck did the sleeping bag come from? It had to be somewhere like in the middle of this whole channel or something. I think I see an empty bag of chips right there. So unfortunate. So I think something just walloped it. Yeah, third fish, let's go. I bet you it's another thornback. Let's go for the trifecta. Oh, might be a stingray. It's flopping like a stingray. Close enough, it's another ray. Nice, look at this sea pancake. So these guys are called stingrays because right there is their stinger. You wanna be very careful when you handle stingrays. You don't want your hand or anything squishy up in this part. This is the strike zone. When you're handling them, you can lip them just fine. Just be very careful with the stinger. Let's get this guy back, but we are a little high up. So let me just carefully 
get a little bit lower. These rocks are kind of slippery. I think this is a good spot right here. Thanks for playing, Mr. Sea Pancake. <laughs> Goodbye now. Cool, that's the third catch. I guess today is a ray day. I just realized I forgot. I try to talk about it in every video, so bear with me. You want good shoes or boots that have traction, like hiking boots? I have my tennis shoes, which are not the best at all. I do not recommend going out here with just your tennis shoes because some of these rocks are really slippery. You want to be careful of wet rocks, but you also want to be careful of slippery surfaces. You also always want to pay attention to the ocean. We're pretty high up right now, but as you can see, some of the waves have splashed water up here. If a big wave comes in, it could be bad news. Basically, don't turn your back against the ocean. Is that a fish? Yep, got another one. Doesn't feel too big, but that's all right. Fish is a fish. Okay, definitely not a stingray. It's a leopard shark, what the heck? Haven't caught one of these guys in a while. Nice, look at the sky. This is a leopard shark. There is a size limit. I think it's like 36 inches for these guys. I just think they're really cool. Sharks are really fun to catch because they put up a lot of fight. They're essentially pure muscle. There's a way to think about it. So we've caught two thornbacks, one stingray, and now a leopard shark. We basically caught the whole family. Sharks and their cousins. All right, let's let this guy back. Thanks for playing, Mr. Leopard Shark. Did not expect you. Bye. I just casted it out. Doesn't feel too big. Might have lost it actually. Oh, it's there. Hooray, an actual fish. It's a yellow fin croaker. Look at this guy. Look how yellow his fins are. This is a good yellow fin. Very dinky boy. But these guys are very common catch out here in the surf down SoCal. Thanks for playing, Mr. Actual Fish. Oh. Goodbye. I guess the afternoon bite's picking up. Let's see if we can catch another one. I think we're at five fish so far. Nibble, nibble. Fish on. Let's see what you are. Another yellow fin? Yeah, another yellow fin. Nice. They're not very big right now. Still super fun to catch. I think this guy's even tinier than the other one. When they're good size, they actually fry up really well. They don't have a size limit. You don't want to keep any that's not worth your time anyways. But if you happen to be fishing and you catch one, they're relatively good eats. Nice. Oh, this one's got a little fight to it. Feels like a good size. Okay, we're back to rays. This is a shovel nose guitar fish. These guys are also pretty neat looking. And of course, they're related to sharks. He also swallowed the hook. I just snapped the line as close as I can. So let's let this guy back. Thanks for playing, Mr. Guitarfish. Oh. I don't even remember what the fish count is right now, but let's just keep going until I'm out of bait. I only got like a couple pieces of shrimp left. I probably should have just came out here when I started fishing. The bite's phenomenal right now. This is actually one of my favorite jellies to fish. I don't really come here as often as I used to, but when I was younger, my dad and I used to head out here a lot. We used to catch a lot of yellowfin croakers out here, some decent sized ones too. Fishing isn't what it used to be, but that's okay. We just gotta make the most of it. As long as there's still fish out there to catch, that's good enough for me. Don't forget to stay hydrated when you're out here. If you've been fishing all day like me, this is very important. It sucks to hike back at the end of the day and you're super dehydrated. All right, next fish. This one took a little bit longer, but that's all right. Let's just see what you are. It's fine, pretty nice. Just another sea pancake. Pretty tiny, but a fish is still a fish. Thanks for playing, Mr. Sea Pancake. Oh. You know what, let's just call it a day. I already had a great day of fishing. I got one piece of bait left, but you know what? We already caught so much fish today, let's just give them a freebie. So whoever gets that, gets that. I'm gonna hike my way back on the jetty. Thanks for watching, guys. Later. Okay, here's a fun one. Looks like a really rusty shopping cart. Someone's underwear? Someone lost their pants. We got another shopping cart down there. Maybe like a door for like a cabinet. I don't even know what this thing is. A piece of a boat, maybe fiberglass. This is like a computer monitor or something. There's so many weird things out here. And then there's this. Wait a minute, this is my lanyard. Yeah, this is my lanyard. Must have broken off somehow. Man, I'm really glad I found it. Don gave me this lanyard. 
I'm glad I didn't lose it. Yeah, I must have snapped off. Oh well. Don't need that part, just this. Good as new. 